everybody and welcome to another episode of the Laura London Fitness Show. Today I'm super excited because I have a very special fit and fabulous mom here on our interview today. Her name is Christinda and we met via Facebook. You gotta love Facebook and she shared her story with me and I was so impressed that I said, hey, let's do an interview. So here we are. So please welcome Chrisinda. Hi, Chrisinda. Hi, Laura. How, How are, are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so excited to have you here today. We started talking a little bit and you started sharing your story. And I was like, no, wait, everybody needs to hear this. It's <laughs> awesome. So why don't you just kind of start? You, we know you're a mom. You have two kids. Just kind of introduce yourself and tell us some of your story. Sure. Um, I'm 36 years old. I am a single mom of two. And sometimes I just find the whole thing a little, you know, it, it's a little scary. Um, and sometimes you can get very overwhelmed with, you know, trying to take care of your kids. And so you sort of leave yourself for last. That's basically what I did. Um, I had my kids when I was young, 22 and 23, um, 36 now. So I have a 14-year-old and a soon-to-be 13-year-old. So a few years ago, I just decided that I was, you know what, it's time to take care of me. Um, I had gone through a lot in my life, I, and I neglected myself. I sort of really let the negativity take me over. Mm -hmm. And one day I just decided, I said, you know what? I don't like myself, I don't like the way I am, I don't like the way I feel, and I don't like the way I look, and, you know, despite people trying to help me, and, you know, telling me things that I didn't want to hear, um, it, it sort of went, like, in one ear, out the other. One day, I just decided, you know what, I need to be the one to make this change, and I changed the way I think. I started trying to make myself think positive instead of negative, um, they it. used to joke around with me and call me Negative Nancy because I, I would always find, you know, the negative in the situation and, and like things like that. But I, I really just sort of trained myself to think better and to find the good in every situation. Um, you know, if, if, if I can't do something, okay, you know what, I'll get there eventually. Right. You know, things like that. Like I, I try to stop saying the words I can't. Good. And I try to say I can. So that helped me a lot. Christina, <laughs> we know you went through a, a divorce. You had a really hard time. You weren't taking I, care of yourself. You said you started to change the way you were thinking, which is really huge when it comes to I, doing anything, I think, in our lives. But where did you start? What, how, how, how much weight did you have to lose and where were you? I, at one point, I weighed 257 pounds, and I was a size 22. Wow. I now am a size 6, and I weigh, I mean, it fluctuates. Sometimes sure. it's like 164, sometimes it's like 168, but um, it's funny. I said to my daughter last night, I said, you know, I've lost about 90 pounds, and I said, I cannot manage to lose these 10, 10 damn pounds. Like, it's killing me. <laughs> And she looked at me and she said, Mom, you don't need to lose any more weight. She's like, you look good the way you are. Don't lose any more. And I, and I looked at her and I said, you know something? You're right, Chris. Because she's named after me. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, Chris, you're right. I don't, I've made the decision, though, that I don't want to lose any more weight. Mm -hmm. I just really want to, like, work on toning up. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I... I don't, you know, I never took diet pills. I never did any of these shake things and these detox things. I I personally don't believe in those things. I know some people do and, and they use them or whatever, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I feel that you should work hard for what you want. And that's what I did. I At first I started just like small things like learning portions. Right. So I, I originally started like with Weight Watchers and I just learned, you know, how much a serving size really is and, and a portion instead of eating like a whole bowl full of something, you know, right. when you're hungry. Um, right. And I cut out like fast food and fried foods and things like that. 
And at first I started working out on like the Wii Fit game that I oh, had I because at the time, like I couldn't go to the gym. My kids were small. Right. So I really, you know, I, I couldn't go at the time. So I figured, let me start with this. It's better than nothing. Right. You know? Sure. No, I love, and I love that because you, I true I believe like you, you really need to do it with food. There's no magic pill, lotion, or potion that is going to do it nope. for you. And if you are going to sustain, no. sustain weight loss, sustain weight loss for life, you need to, to be able to do it 24 seven with what's around you. Exactly. A, a special diet or a restrictive diet is not going to work because we can't live like that forever. So I love that you did that and you started with small steps because I think sometimes people can get overwhelmed. They're like, yeah. you know, they're, they're going to, it's all or nothing mentality and that also backfires. Like if I'm going to, you know, no sugar, no this, no that, no carbs, mm -hmm. it's, you just can't do it. So I love the way you did that. What were, do you think, maybe your three biggest obstacles? Well, I'm going to definitely say I was one of them. <laughs> because it, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I thought about this last night. I, I even said it to my daughter. I was sitting there with her, and I said, you know what? I really was one of my biggest obstacles because in my head, I would, you know, watch a workout or something and be like, I can't do that, you know, and like, yeah, right. Um, just, oh, I'll, I'll never be, you know, this size. I'll never lose that much weight. Like I, I was really my obstacle. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think that for me, it also was, and kind of still is sometimes finances mm -hmm. because I wanted to join a gym and I didn't have the money for it because being a single mom, you know, you do everything on your own and when yes. you get no help, it's a lot. Yes. So that was a big problem of mine too. It was trying to find the money to join a gym and, and you know, do what I really wanted to do. Right. But I really think that the biggest obstacle, like I said, was me because mm -hmm. I was stopping myself from being able to do the, the things that I wanted to do. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's how huge. I really feel. You know, I think there are a lot of people out there who will look at maybe a fitness magazine or like you said, a video, and they're seeing this, this like um, perception of perfection. And yes. it's, it's hard to think, wow, I could never do that. But when, like you said, you do small steps, you change mm -hmm. the way you're thinking, and you open that up to like, if she can do it, well, I can do it too, you know? And just keep going like you did so that's awesome i i love that i really really do um Thanks. let's see so how now you said you your obstacle was going to the gym so yeah you know, i think in today's world there's so many other things that we can do besides going oh, yeah. to the gym right we can work out Definitely. at home you know exactly. I have great workout videos <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're, you're, uh, honestly, you are one of the reasons why I lost so much weight because I did join a gym. I made it, it's funny, it's like a, a cliche. I was thinking about this last night. For, I'm going to say it's almost four years ago now, I made a New Year's resolution mm -hmm. and I said, I'm going to do this, I'm going to lose weight. And I joined a gym with my nephew and he stopped going, but I kept going. And then I started working with a trainer. But then all these things came up and I had to stop going to the gym. And that's when I decided, you know what? I don't need to always go to a gym to do these things. I can do things at home. And one day I was looking on the Wii U that we have and I went on YouTube. And I don't remember what I searched for, but you came up, one of your workout videos. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, wow, you know what? I could, I could probably do this. And so I put it on and... And then I, I did one of the videos and I was like, wow, you know, I really like her. She's down to earth. She's a normal person like, you know, like you and I. She has a sense of humor. So that really, I feel like I connected to that because you weren't like one of these like uppity type people who, you know, like I, I feel like you connect with your audience. Yeah, I really and I think that try to my best. <laughs> But that's a very good thing because that's what will attract people to you, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I just, from that point on, I just kept going with that. And I haven't been to a gym 
in years because I do everything at home. Um, and it's funny because in my Facebook memories, videos that I posted that I did three years ago came up <laughs> and they were your videos and I was laughing. I was like, this is so cool. This was three years ago. See, isn't that funny how life works? And here we are today yes. on an interview. Wow. Yes. I love that. Well, thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Um, we also, well, I also saw uh, a post that you did on Instagram which really hit home, and I and I mentioned it. I don't know if you know this in one of my Facebook lives, but you posted a post. Oh no! Yeah, you were working out, and you posted a photo of yourself after a workout, crop top, and you're like, you know, I have mommy belly. Here it is. Here I am. Love me for who I am. And I thought, damn, that is awesome because there are so many women, me included. Uh, my belly wrinkles when I bend over. Three kids. But we're almost afraid to show who we are and who we are is beautiful no matter how old, what we look like. We're just people living life and we all just want to be ourselves and be loved. So I loved that post. I really thought that that was awesome. You're making me cry. <laughs> Thank you. In a good way. Um, because you worked for it. Before, before I put that picture up, I actually sat there and um, I did cry just because today's perception of what you're supposed to look like, um, it's still, and, and I have my days where I'm like, I don't give a crap what anybody thinks of me. You know, if they don't like what I look like, right. don't look at me. That's right. my attitude. But then there are days where I'm like, I see people and I'm like, I don't look like that and I never will. Um, and it bothers me. I was saying there was a girl that I had seen on Instagram and you know her, I mean, I have some loose skin from on my stomach from all the weight that I have lost and you know, stretch marks from having kids and whatever. But I saw her on Instagram and her stomach was like mine and she just posts all of these positive things and, you know, these positive body image, you know, quotes and pictures and things that I thought to myself, well, you know, if she could do that, so could I. And one of my best friends actually saw her and said, Chrissy, she reminds me of you. And I, I was like, who? And, and I looked at her pictures and everything and I read what, you know, she had said about herself and everything and how she doesn't care. And, you know, she walks around in a bikini and everything. And she's like, I don't care what people think of me. This is me. Love me for who I am. I don't care what you think. And I was thinking, well, if she could do that, well, so could I. So that day when I was working out, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take this picture. And when I was about to post it, I just stood there. And I started to cry because I was like, and I was like shaking a little bit because I was just like, in a way, I feel like I was preparing myself for any naysayers and people who would look and, you know, put negative things. But I was really, really shocked that when I put that on Instagram and Facebook, people that I hadn't spoken to in like the longest time were like, oh my God, Chris, like all these people just said, you are beautiful. You, it's just pure raw beauty and all of these things. And I don't even think I was wearing makeup. Like I, you know, I was working out. Um, I was a mess, but it really, I remember I went upstairs to my mom's and I was like, and I told her and she's like, what's wrong? And I told her that I was putting this picture up right. and she's like, Chrissy, why are you crying? She said, you should be so proud of yourself and how far you've come. Yes. She said, you know, look at what you've accomplished. You know, she's like, and you did this all on your own. She said, this is all you. You should be very proud of who you are and how you got here. You know, don't ever think anything different. And of course I cried more when she said yeah. that. But it was so nice that people were saying all these positive things instead of what I see. Again, I was thinking that somebody's going to say all this negative stuff to me and I was preparing myself mentally for that, I think, and nobody did. And I was like really, really shocked 
I was really, really surprised and shocked. I'm not going to lie. I, th- I, really I, I, I saw it. I loved it because, like I said, it's ju- there's so many moms out there. We're all, we all have the same body image issues. Yeah. And, you know, if we stand up one by one and just say, here we are, this is who we are, and you did it, girl. And I, and yes, never forget to look back. Look back and see where you came from. Because a 90 pound weight loss is huge. 10 pound weight loss is huge. But what you did, you accomplished it, you kept going, you didn't stop, you didn't give up, and now you're here and you're motivating other women. And that is huge. Thank Thank you. you. I really, really, appreciate that you have no idea because I you motivate me I'm not gonna lie because even last night I've just been so exhausted lately I told you I got a new job in Manhattan so I'm taking the train now <laughs> and it's sort of a pain but it's better than where I was so I'm I'm very happy here but it's it's an adjustment sure. you know for my body sure. and I've been very tired lately I haven't been sleeping well so You know, last night I was like on the train home. I was thinking to myself, I was like fighting with myself going, well, maybe I should just wait till tomorrow. And then I'm like, no, you're going to go home. You're going to work out. And I'm like, but I'm tired. And I'm like, okay, you know what? When I walked in the door, I changed and I went on YouTube (laughs) and I put on one of your videos that I hadn't done in a long time with the resistance bands and the 50 push-ups. So I did that. (laughs) Rock it, girl. (laughs) And then I did like a, a 10 minute um, high intensity workout from Pop right. Sugar Fitness too. Right. And then I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> you did it, but you did it. That's awesome. I love it because I think a lot of times for myself also, if I push myself to just go work out, it might not be a full workout, but once I'm there and I start, I'm happy I'm there. I might start yeah. slow and then my body's warming up. Mm-hmm. And even if it's for 10, 15, 20 minutes, I'm happy that I did it and, and I didn't skip exactly. it because that can be become such a habit. You know, I know. You skip a day and it turns out to be a week later. So, all right, we're going to wrap this up. I want to say, um, do you have any, maybe some advice for moms out there or women? I mean, just they don't have to be moms. Anybody who's just getting ready to start this health and weight loss journey what would you tell them well my new motto has become i can and i will end of story Ah, i love it i say that to like everyone because people email me on facebook and even direct message me on instagram and ask me like you know what do you do how did you lose so much weight and things like that and i tell everybody you know it's a mindset Once you get that in your mind that you're going to do something, you will do it. So I tell everybody, I can, I will, end of story. I put that on Facebook an awful lot and Instagram too because I feel like if I keep telling myself that Mm -hmm. and I have it in my head, Mm -hmm. I will do it. And, And I will tell everyone that if you think and you foresee yourself doing it, you will do it. I love that. That's how I feel. Thank you. We're going to put that on a a t-shirt, girl. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today. I I love this interview. It was raw and real. And uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with everybody. (laughs) We're going to, I'll put um, photos and links and all sorts of things into this video. So I know you have to go back to work today. But yes. <laughs> thank you again. Maybe uh, no, maybe I'll do like a, a workout for the office. That would be cool. Cool. <laughs> oh, I, I do stuff all the time. You got to see me. They were laughing at me last week. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Well, we need to get it done. All right, girl. Love you. Thank you so much. You. And I will talk to you again really soon. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a day.